You are a spiritual healer. Yes, you may not categorize yourself as such, but that certainly does not mean that you are not a spiritual healer. Think of it like as a child, when you skinned your knee or your brother or sister punched you in the shoulder, or even in jest, you immediately put your hand on it. You instinctively placed your hand on the wound or the bruise. You probably didn't even consciously say to yourself, I'm going to send healing energy to the bruise on my arm. <laughs> but you did, naturally. <laughs> I'm sure you still do. Place your hand over something that hurts. That's a part of being a spiritual healer. Consider incorporating spiritual healing into your daily routine. You don't have to put your hand over an injury, but think of healing as a part of your daily spiritual practice or routine. You naturally become a better person when you create a spiritual practice or routine. You don't have to spend hours sitting in meditation to create a spiritual healing. You just need a few moments. We hear so much these days about self-care, right? Take your vitamins, use aromatherapy, get a massage, get regular energy work, love yourself, exercise, that is a part of your self-care routine. Your vibrational healing increases when you use spiritual healing as a part of your daily self-care routine. When you incorporate spiritual healing into your routine as much as brushing your teeth or showering or washing your face, it just becomes a part of your natural routine. Therefore, your vibration will raise, raising your frequency and promoting self-love. <laughs> self-love is a consequence of raising self-esteem. Having healthy self-esteem boosts your immune system. It expands your awareness of yourself and finally assists in shifting the world around you, placing you and your world into an extended pattern of living in joy. I know, I know, it sounds so simple, doesn't it? Well, surprisingly, it is simple. <laughs> Here are five simple practices you can use to incorporate spiritual healing into your own personal self-care routine, and they may take five minutes. One, when you awaken in the morning, try not to jump out or crawl out of bed immediately. Instead, lay there in your bed, breathing deeply. Visualize the way you would like your day to start, the way you would like your day to be. Visualize your chakras or your energy centers. Give thanks for your physical body and how well it serves you. This will take a minute, maybe two. It's an easy start to your day. Two, make your bed. I know, I know. It sounds silly, doesn't it? <laughs> My mom would always tell me, make your bed, make your bed. I did it then, but uh, not as an adult because I think that was the rebellious side of me. But Jim Quick, a memory teacher, said making your bed as soon as you rise will help improve your memory and reinforce your inner intelligence. And it will get more comfortable when you get into your bed at night. And I have found that to be true. And that takes maybe a minute. Three, create a simple altar in your home. It doesn't have to be large or lavish. It could just be a spot where you place a candle or a crystal or another symbol of your own spiritual enhancement. I have two or three little altars in every room in my home. They remind me to be mindful of my surroundings and, and to be grateful for everything. <laughs> then, when your attention is placed on your altar, you have a moment of mindfulness and gratitude. Four, speaking of gratitude, practice gratitude. <laughs> As a part Part of my spiritual practice, I drink one to two glasses of water first thing in the morning. I'm looking out my window, being grateful for my lake and my well-being and the neighborhood that I live in and whatever's going to happen that day. Five, make folding your clothes into a spiritual healing experience. I know, sounds crazy, doesn't it? But you will be surprised at the difference it makes. I read the book once called Tidying Up by Marie Kondo, and at first I thought it was so silly, but I tried it anyway. I mean, you fold your clothes or your linens in a specific way, giving thanks that they are covering your body while you're folding them. You smooth them out, giving thanks for their presence in your life. Thank your towels for drying you after you cleanse in the shower. That makes such a huge difference. I know, I know it sounds so simple, but those little acts of gratitude seem to make my clothes happier when I put them on, and therefore it makes me happier. Remember, self-care is a part of your spiritual healing routine. When you incorporate spiritual healing into all aspects of your life, you may be
be on your way to being truly enlightened. You know, a simple thing like making your bed or folding your clothes can't ultimately enlighten you, but it certainly can't hurt. I will accept all the help I can get to live a more enlightened, peaceful, balanced life. How about you? Put your suggestions in the comments below. Namaste, y'all. Namaste.